Hello, everybody. <clears throat> I'm just going to give it a couple seconds because I know there's sometimes a lag. So I don't want to like jump in and then you not <laughs> see what I'm talking about. So I, all right, let's get started. I have to take my son to swim lessons, so I got to do this quick. Um, I originally started, when I started with Limelight, I started just using Dream Clean, and I noticed after a while, um, my skin must not have been as oily as I thought it was, because I always considered myself to be very oily skin. Logan, go put your shoes on and go. What did we talk about two seconds ago? Um, but my skin, I don't think was as oily as I thought it was. Um, my no around my nose area and my chin is pretty much, I guess, my only problem areas. But I was, I actually needed more moisture, like, in here and, um, down along my neckline, my, like, this area. Because I noticed I was getting pretty dry. So... I was trying to come up with a way that I could still use the Dream Clean for my oily spots, but also be able to use Quench Cleanse for my drier spots. So, I just combined them. And it has been working. I've stopped using the skincare for a couple weeks because I just, like, let my skin go crazy again. So... I started this, um, I would say like a week ago. I would say it's probably when I started it back up again. So, it's really helped. I'm just getting my face wet. So I can. And I still exfoliate like I still use my scrubber that I get from Walmart to exfoliate. But now I just take one, like, half a pump of Dream Clean, and then, like, a half a pump of skin, or of skin therapist, of Quench Cleanse. And I just, like, mix them together. So then, I just go right in. So I'm mixing them together, but it's still working good because it's giving me my moisture that I still need in my chin area and it's giving me the clean that I like with Dream Clean. Quench Cleanse cleans really good too but it's a creamy moisturizer or creamy cleanser so I'm not I'm not a creamy cleanser so get this all on and I don't go too close to my eyes and I just pull it down my chin a little bit. Then I take my little scrubby and I just go at it. And you see that it's still like foaming because I have the dream clean in there. But also I can tell that I'm getting that moisture moisturization from the quench cleanse. So I just do circular motions. Get all around on my nose and everything. And then I just take a few warm water splashes and just splash it all off. And then I pack dry. And when I'm in, I normally do this when I'm in the shower, so I just keep my two bottles in my shower, 
And then I just have the water run off from the shower head and I'm nice and clean. So it just, it has really helped. And then when I get out of the shower, I come and I take, I take one pump of Skin Therapist. So I just pump one pump into my hand, and sometimes I'll put it on the back of my hand. Just depends. And you always want to make sure your hands are clean, so that's kind of why I like doing it in the shower, because then I know my hands are clean, because I'm washing my hair, washing my body, and all of that. And it literally takes one pump of the moisturizer to get it to get everything I actually have like a little bit left so I'll go a little bit in this area and then get it down on my neck a little bit so then I'm all moisturized and I'm ready my hands have been clean the whole time because you don't want to do your skincare if you don't have clean hands because then you're kind of like washing your hands when you're like with me when I'm mixing it I'm washing my hand I would be washing my hands but my hands, hands were already clean so I'm not worrying about having to add that extra bacteria and all that gunky crap onto my skin so that is my new routine and I'm loving it it is making my face feel really smooth and I just it's working for me so I hope everybody has a good Wednesday and talk to y'all later